I know I'm surprised you because you see me on Columbus Connection. You thought it was focused on help, but guess what? I'm versatile, you understand? So what we're going to do, we're going to come back with some good information dealing with education. See you on the other end of this commercial. I know, Pops, you're not talking about health. What are you talking about? I'm talking about education. To my right, I have two very good guests. I'm going to have them introduce themselves. And we're going to tell you about something that it really uh, hits me into my heart, and that's education of our loved ones, our children. And so, Brad, I'm going to have you introduce yourself, and then I'm going to have Dr. Vickers Ward introduce herself. Great. And you can look into that camera right there. Great. And uh, thanks for having us today, Pops. Uh, you have been... Uh, a source of inspiration for me ever since we uh, stepped into the uh, uh, into Columbus market with uh, a Reach Georgia program. I'm Brad Bryant. I'm the vice president of Reach Georgia. Uh, Reach Georgia is the state's uh, needs-based scholarship organization. It's a public-private state-local partnership where we really try to bring the community members together and particularly the adult uh, community members together to support our, our, our young people. And we're focusing primarily on those academically promising low-income students that reside in communities all across Georgia. Uh, we're currently in 160 of Georgia's 180 school systems. We've been in uh, Muscogee County since 2016-2017, uh, uh, in, in large part because we found a champion in POPs. And uh, we've just had a ball doing this. Um, I'm a lawyer by training. I've served on a local school board, the state school board, uh, and now I get to really give my service uh, in ways uh, all across the state through Reach Georgia. And this young lady to my right, she's going to tell you all about her. And I'm so glad that I had a chance to meet her because when she arrived here at the Muscogee County School District, I think we met one time, which is about a year and three or four months ago. Yes. Hadn't had a chance to speak with her until I found out she was involved with the reach and that's something close to my heart so i'm going to have her introduce herself and look into that camera and then we're going to get rolling here some good information <laughs> for you well thanks pops for that lovely introduction <laughs> i am angela vickers ward i am first and foremost just very passionate about children my role here in muskogee county school district is that of chief student service officer for for the children and I service anything related to children and helping them prosper. That is my goal. I am participating and working with REACH as the REACH coordinator, looking for people like yourself to mentor and help our young people strive to be their very, very best. So above everything that goes on in my job, the most important thing is helping our children to grow and to prosper. And she did a good job. You know, I thought she was a little bit nervous, but she's relaxed. <laughs> That's you right. know, I thought she was a little bit nervous. She was screeching my hands, but she did an excellent job. <laughs> Let me tell you what we're going to do. We've got a lot of information to give you, and it's really good information. So what we're going to do, I'm going to have Brad go through some slides really quickly. And then after we go through those slides, he's going to back up. He's got this at the top of here because he lives, breathes, walks, reach. He's going to put the framework and a painting on the frame that he's going to set down with the slides. Then we're going to have some real good information, some conversations. So, Brad, let's forward through the slides and then sure. we can get going. Okay. Well, uh, again, uh, let me just uh, underscore how important that program coordinator role is. And, and we're so excited to have Angela stepping yes. in. And we've had the support of uh, your superintendent, who has just been there from, from day one as well. And... Um, REACH was uh, created, if you will, uh, born uh, uh, during uh, Governor Nathan Dill's uh, first uh, term of office. And uh, most of you that are watching this program are familiar with Georgia's Hope Scholarship, which is um, the best in the world. Um, currently, we've now invested over $12 billion in 2 million Georgians' lives to help them mm. live into um, uh, their um, educational potential and become those citizens that uh, we want. 
But where we had a, a gap, if you will, was in that needs-based piece. And so even if you um, earn the grades that you need to be successful in college, um, if you don't have the finances to help you get there, or if you're a student whose family has never had an experience with uh, something beyond high school, then we knew that there needed to be some help. And so uh, REACH uh, really is a concept that says to help that student prepare, you need to begin uh, earlier than their junior or senior year of high school. Um, they need to have the supports, the, um, the academic, the mentoring, um, the coaching that is gonna be um, uh, available for them to start. And so we start at the, um, in their eighth grade year. So we catch that first transition point as a young adult from middle school to high school. The local school system works with them. They do what they do well, which is um, creating those uh, academic opportunities. And then they deliver that REACH scholar at the high school graduation line with a 2.5 GPA or higher. And if the student reaches that point, then they are eligible for a $10,000 scholarship that they can use at any HOPE eligible institution uh, in Georgia. So it's your technical colleges, it's your private colleges, it's your University System of Georgia colleges. All of those are uh, readily available to the students as they uh, enroll. Um, and what we've seen is just uh, tremendous success. We started with um, just a few pilot systems. We now have 288 high school graduates. Um, I'm excited because Muskogee has their first class of high school seniors this year. And what we're, um, what we're looking to do is to prepare them. It's, as I mentioned, it's a public-private partnership. And what we mean by that is, is that um, uh, the state is willing to, to step up to the plate and say, we're going to financially invest in these students. And then what we're looking for from that local community is an appropriate match. So for our poorest communities, they're matching $1,000 out of that $10,000 scholarship. And then for communities like Muskogee that have a little bit greater wealth, they're putting in $2,000 of local money. Folks like you can contribute and help to uh, add to eight, with $8,000 to create that $10,000 scholarship. Um, and some, um, and, and let's, let's just look at the slides a minute and see what- uh, You're on that slide, what you're talking about yes, right yes. now. Um, one of the other interesting dynamics of this is that uh, we want our post-secondary partners to be prepared for those students to come. So what they're doing is entering memorandum of understanding. They're actually, in many cases, adding to that $10,000 scholarship, and they're uh, uh, providing the, the much-needed supports, like um, what does it mean when you step on a college campus? In some cases, if you've never stepped out of your county, um, uh, in your life. So. Yeah, let, let me interject. Um, yeah, here we go. We're, I'd rather, we'd rather dialogue that now. Okay, so now let's, let's backtrack a little bit and keep the camera on okay. you as you're explaining. Explain the nuts and bolts to someone like me. Tell me about the REACH scholarship. I want to know more about the REACH scholarship and why should I be involved in this here? Well, let, well let's look at it if you were one of my REACH, uh, prospective REACH scholars. So sometime in your seventh grade year, eighth grade year, a teacher um, a, a community member might have said, a POPs has potential. Oh. So what they would do would be they would get an application into your hand. You and your family would fill out an application, and what we're trying to do there is to let our young people know that as they move through life, there's going to be a lot of applications they're going to have to fill. Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, so then our school systems uh, are uh, helping us. So Angela's helping coordinate that. They're sending that information out to the students. Those applications come back in, and then Angela and her team whittle that, down, that number down because um, Muskogee is eligible for eight scholars a okay, year. there you go. Mm -hmm. So let's say um, she got back 50 uh, applications. She would try to get that down to a number that would allow community members, so 
maybe the mayor, maybe a pastor, maybe somebody from Fort Benning could come and sit and interview these young people because another thing they're going to need are the soft skills to be able to work uh, and, and answer and let folks know what their dreams are. And actually yes. experience early on right. interviewing. Right. Yes. Right. And, and you want to know something? Right. And, and, it's, and just, I'd like to make a little comment with this here. What I do like about this here is the fact, you see how the community's involved with this here and not so much bureaucracy, it's the parents, it's the counselors. So uh, Councilor Mimi Woodson brought up a very good point that I had to tell her, this, this levels the playing field because what I really like about this here is the fact that this is for academically gifted students who are also financially disadvantaged Mm -hmm. and who also will be the first ones in their family to go to college. Exactly. You can't beat, you can't beat something like this here. And I, I hate to, I didn't mean to interrupt you, no, Brad, no, 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 but you, you were hitting on points yes. to me. Well, and you see how they're grooming yeah. the, the child for, for applications and to, yes. and to come in and interview. And I've been on, they, we choose people from the community. So that goes to she keeps <laughs> the community in the, in the net for these, for, mm -hmm. these, for these children here. And the children actually experienced an, an initial interview. All this is ongoing to the final thing, which is going to be we talk about the mentoring and the, and right. the next steps. So, yeah. so, so, so you go through that interview, and somebody goes, "Wow, I am blown away, Pop, Pops. We need to, we need to give him that opportunity to pursue that academic dream." So um, there, that gets us to that fall of their eighth grade year. Mm -hmm. right. <clears throat> They're enrolled in a signing ceremony. So just like we see those young men that go to University of Georgia or Auburn or Alabama to play uh, 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 at, at, at a collegiate sport, we want to let these young people know that that academic uh, path is just as prosperous, if not more prosperous than, than that. And then the real magic, I think, happens is that um, that scholar is paired with an adult mentor. Mm -hmm. And having done youth groups at my church, you know, parents are great. Communication needs to be there. But sometimes you're just not going to let your mm -hmm. parent know. Or if you're a mentor, you can say something that mom or dad would have said, and it didn't it, stick. But then that, but it stuck with a mentor. Right. It stuck right. And, and, and you know, Brett, uh, I just want to tell you, Brett, that is extremely, that, that mentoring, Dr. brought it up a couple of times at council. That is extremely Mm -hmm. Important and for our community, by the way, just to, to stop, you know, anyone can mentor. The biggest mentor in my life was Mamie White. Never had an opportunity because of the times to go beyond the, the fourth or the fifth grade, but she always implanted in our minds you've got to learn how to read, you've got to read, you've got to, and she programmed us and formed and never went beyond was a washerwoman. And, 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 and look how it has impacted not only my life, but my grandchildren. And my wife just loves our great-grandchildren. But we're able to pass that on because of mentoring. That's right. mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, and, so what we, and, and so that student has that uh, mentor. Mm -hmm. and, and then the other piece, uh, and this is going on, uh, I think, well within our school system. It is. But we're, we're reinforcing this notion that um, you, if you're going to prepare for college, that means you need to have a plan in place. And so we, uh, we ask that that um, student and the family engage with the school and the academic coaching process. And there's so many good things that are going on in, in Georgia today is that we've got young people that are able to take dual enrollment so they can go to Columbus Tech or Columbus State. They can get a year or two years worth of college That's credit right. mm -hmm. that their parents don't have to pay a nickel for exactly before right. they ever graduate from high school. That's awesome. And so if, 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 if we don't want the finances in this state to be any more of a burden than possible. So let's just say we've got you now. We fast forwarded um, uh, four years. You're starting into your uh, senior year. We need you to fill out um, the, the student financial aid form because as a low-income student, you're going to qualify for $6,000 a year that's grant. And whenever a parent hears grant that's they, or scholarship, yes. that's what they want to check the box. Exactly. What they don't want to do is loans. Mm -hmm. If we can stay away from loans, then that means that student's going to get the benefit of that college education and come out 
and, and be able to, I like to tell my car dealers, and um, that if, rather than having to pay back a $20,000 student loan, they could buy a nice car. Exactly For those right. folks that are in the home uh, building business, they could put a down payment on a home. They can, and they can join the service clubs and pay the dues rather than having to pay back that mm -hmm, student mm -hmm. loan. Exactly. Right. So then what you would do would be to go through the normal and, uh, uh, application process. Then you start your uh, college career and you are eligible for $2,500 a year. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, and if you qualify for HOPE and 70% of our uh, graduates so far have been able to qualify for HOPE, you're talking about a, a ten to twelve thousand dollar financial package sure. that that family is not going that to happens. have to scrounge around That's exactly um, right. um, uh, to find. And 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 then what we're looking for is those great post secondary partners. And again, you've got two of the very best in Georgia here in your own backyard, working with those students to make sure that they select the right courses right. and that they. They, again, they find what their passion is in life, and so that when they finish that post-secondary degree, not only are they in a place where they can be a good citizen, but they're going to be happy because they've made, they're, 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 they're finding their vocation, their calling, uh, and their passion. And, and, and I, I pretty much know this community, and so one of the questions that I would like for our viewing audience to know is, how can they be involved? How can they help out? Well, the, the folks always get upset when, when, <laughs> I, when I don't lead with asking for money. But, but what I've learned is, is that if, if, if I were making the, the pitch um, throughout Georgia, is um, first we just need to care. We need to, we need to get involved in the lives Bingo. of these young people. Right. And I think what that, that mentoring piece is there. Is, and, is, is excellent. And, 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 and we're getting ready, and I think broader support's going to be coming this um, January, we're going to launch a statewide mentoring affiliate, okay. um, which will mean that um, it, not just our REACH scholars, but let's imagine uh, a world where 1.8 million students in Georgia all had access to a quality mentor. Right. That I mean, that's, awesome. that'd be a dream. Be uh, but uh, so you can do that. Um, you've mentioned um, um, you, if, if you think you'd like to um, participate, perhaps in an interview process, and An uh, Angela probably has a list this long, but I would encourage you to do that. Your life will be changed doing that. Then um, just um, any amount of, you know, I, part of the, 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 the reason for asking local communities to invest is that if you don't have skin in the game, that's exactly you, right. you sometimes that's take it for granted. Right. So if, if, if you are that, um, you know, my mom's 90 years old. And, Ooh, um, uh, and what I would say is that if she was willing to write a $10 check, um, to me, her heart would be in the same good place as Synovus that might be able to com completely underwrite uh, right. the program. So this is really trying to find ways for that community to plug in. Basically, I'm going to tell you the easy way to start. I've been involved with this program from the, from the beginning. In fact, um, I always tell people, I said, it, it, it reminded me of so much that my grandmother did. I would be nowhere if it wasn't for her mentoring. And so this is what I'd like to put out to the community. This program is for our community here. Yes. It's a, it's a level playing field because we have community involvement. Where else are you going to have the, the, the state kick money in almost three times, four times the amount of money to help our own here? And so the buy-in to all this here, and we're going to give you some information. We'll take a little break. But when we come back, we're going to give you all the contact information that you will need to really get involved into this program for our own children, for our own children. And so we're going to take a break, and then what we're going to do, we're going to lead out on, when we come back on the break with Dr. Vickers Ward. She is the, going to be the point of contact, so we're going to make sure we put all her information there. And she's right at the Muskogee County School District. You can't miss her. You can call, and she has a very good <laughs> administrative secretary, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie calls me five minutes after we have a conversation. I just want to be sure, Pop, that you understand. I'm glad she does that. So we're going to come back and speak about all the contact information, have Brad on the tail end give out more about the program, 
so that y'all could be involved in a program that's going to reap benefits for us and hopefully have our young'uns stay in our community and keep it the vibrant community that it is. We're going to take a short break now. The odds of this daughter of a clergyman spending 11 weeks at number one on the U.S. singles charts? One in 19 million. The odds of going on to win six Grammy Awards? One in 1.4 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 150. I'm Toni Braxton, and I encourage you to learn the signs of autism at AutismSpeaks.org. I am a teenager. I am online. I enjoy sharing thoughts. Music. Videos. Ideas. Information. I will not. I will not. I will not be a victim to threats. To stalking. To soliciting. To predators. I will be responsible. I will be careful. I will be honest. I will be smarter. I will get my parents involved. I will protect myself. I will be safe. I am a teenager. And I. And I. Will not. Be bullied. Welcome back. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to have Dr. Vickers Ward. She's here. She's going to be the point of contact. She's going to be the one. If you have any information that she can get it to you, I can guarantee you as sure as you're looking at me, because she'll make sure that if you call, Debbie give her the message. She's going to have Debbie get in contact with her. And Debbie is like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Debbie's on the case. So, Doctor, if you were looking in there and give all your contact information, Absolutely. how people can, all about the REACH program, because I do know how good this community is and they want to get involved. Pops and Brad, thank you so very, very much. REACH is going to impact our students in this community. As a first generation college student, I know firsthand the benefit of mentorship. Mentors to me have changed my life. It's made a difference in the way that I go about my daily activity with students, with interacting with people. And I know that if we create mentors, have mentors for every child that is a REACH recipient, it's gonna do the same for our students. It's gonna bring them back into our community building up our economic school here. And, and let me just tell you something. Um, the, the key is that mentorship piece yes. that you're talking about. But also, because I do know this community, if you can let them know how to get in touch with you. Absolutely. Because let me tell you something. You are the linchpin <laughs> for the community. Absolutely. And you've got a really important job. And not only that, we had a conversation off camera. And she comes from the same kind of a background that I come from. And she yes. talked to me. I heard about your grandmother. So yes. I know she had a dynamic mentor or yes. mentors in yes. her life and why she is, is deep in her soul. Yes. And so I'm going to have her look and give all the information because she's going to be the linchpin, not Pop Barnes. She's going to be the linchpin for this program Absolutely. for y'all. And if you're interested, please contact me at 706-748-3336. You'll reach Debbie or myself. Debbie and I will be sure to contact you back because reach is what we need for our children. And thank you so very, very much. And Brad, if you can so try to sum up, bring all this bad boy home. Well, I, well, I, I love the conversation around the mentoring. And let, oh, me, yeah. let me just say, for those of you who may be kind of leaning back in your seat, you may have been on a church committee one time where the only way you got off of that committee was when they were eulogizing you. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what the research tells us is that if you'll commit for a year, then that is meaningful to the student. Now, I'll tell you what happens more times than not. You will get swept up by that student. That's right. That year will get. But we're not asking you today to take an eighth grader on and watch them all the way through their high school career. So I, I just would, I would underscore that point uh, that, uh, and, and that if you're worried about the skills, there are we ways that, uh, um, that uh, the school district can help you with that. But it, it'll, it'll have a transformational impact, not only in that student's life, but your life. And what, we've, what the research also shows is that the best way to train up the next generation of mentors is by having that generation mentored themselves. That's right, yes. that's right, yes. So we want to do that. I also just, in, in, in kind of wrapping up, and just to give you an idea of how important I think uh, Muskogee is to the lifeblood of the River Valley is we're in 
uh, almost all of the, um, the counties that are in the uh, River Valley Development uh, Commission, part of that 20-year plan is to increase mentoring, increase educational attainment um, to that of the rest of the state, help with workforce development. We think REACH checks all three of those boxes. Mm -hmm. And we, while we talked about the fact that we have 32 scholars in Muskogee, there's an army uh, that are out there in those other counties. By the end of this um, funding um, uh, cycle, we should have uh, 275 scholars in the counties that represent the workforce area of Muskogee and Columbus. And what that means is that uh, those folks may live in Chattahoochee County, but they're able to come in daily right. and work right. and then go back. And all of that contributes to just the wonderful quality of life uh, that is found um, Huge not, not only in Columbus, yeah. but in the, in the River Valley. And, it, and one of the great takeaways for me, I, I, I clerked for the, one of the federal judges that worked in the Middle District of Georgia um, if, many years ago. But um, what, I, what REACH has really given me the opportunity is to get to know Georgians in every nook yes. and cranny in this state. Yes. We've got wonderful, wonderful people that can serve our students in ways that they may not uh, 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 imagine. And, and, and this is to me, now I'm gonna tell you all what the nuts and bolts is for, for me. I told you about my background. But when I heard about this program, where first of all, economically gifted students. Mm -hmm. Secondly, who are also financially disadvantaged. Thirdly, that they would be the first one in their family to go to college. That's a win, win, win situation for the community. And as parents, you always want to have the best for your children. And this is a vehicle because I do know that we have a number of children who are academically brilliant, but unfortunately, because of their socioeconomic situation, just like mine was when I was growing up, trying to run one, one bean against another to eat, that person will fall through the crack. And that would be a crime, a crime for that person, a crime for that family, and a crime for that community. And so now is our opportunity with this program here where we can get involved. And I'm going to tell you like the minister says at church when it comes to the mentoring. We're not looking at your um, ability. We're looking at your availability. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you? That the mentors that come into this program, mm -hmm. Dr. Vickers Ward, mm -hmm. an educator, can work with because whatever talent you have, if it's just encouraging, mm -hmm. we can use you. That's right. Can I get an amen, doctor? That's right. That's amen. Oh, I'd like to hear that amen like I'm at the church <laughs> on the front yes, row. Yes, <laughs> so yes. the bottom line, doctor, I want you to look into that camera. We're going to wrap it up. Let them know how they can really help you. And, I, and one thing that touched me at council, I was sitting all the way from, I got that mentoring buzz from you loud and clear because I know that's deep in your soul. So just look in there and give your contact information and we're going to exit out. Okay. Um, again, mentor. And the reason we mentor is for the love of our children. Amen. Our children need you. Our children are the hub of our community. Let's have them stay here in Columbus by investing in them, and that's our return. Please contact me at 706-748-7436. Thank you. And as I always say on Focus on Health, and I'm going to also have them, by the way, on my very popular Facebook Live show that I do every Monday morning, 52 weeks out of the year, from 10 to 1030, I'm going to have them on. Brad will be in Atlanta. Dr. Vickers, Vickers Ward will be right at the Muskogee County School <laughs> District, and I'll be at Mrs. Barnes' kitchen table. <laughs> and so we're going to be seeing you. So the, the thing is REACH, yes. the REACH program. Yes. And as always, on all of those programs, and one thing I always want to say, please be good and kind to yourself. Because why? Because God loves you. Amen. Bye-bye now. Amen. Bye-bye.